Structural engineers performing the model-based review have a variety of tools provided within the Tecla software to navigate and view effectively. Panning, zooming, and rotating are quite straightforward. In fact, the user can point and zoom to areas of interest as well as define rotation points. As shown here, we can define a rotation point around the column on the right hand end of the structure and rotate around it. Also, clipping planes can be defined within the structure. This allows the user to cut away areas of the model along any given plane. Here we're cutting away the structure along an angle perpendicular to the bracing. Here we're showing how we can cut away the structure in the east or west direction, and also vertically. Note that using these clipping planes can be a very effective way to get in very close to a specific area of the model that the engineer wants to investigate. Information in the model can be viewed by simply clicking on the object to view all the information such as bolts, welds, and the parts. Note that all the information that is going to be fabricated is shown within the Tekel model and can be viewed by the engineer. Information can also be viewed by just hovering over the objects and seeing very specific information. This can be a very effective tool for viewing connection information. The assemblies can be viewed within the model as well. Note that these assemblies represent the parts that are going to be shop bolted or shop welded. And that information can be viewed within the model first before even getting to the shop drawing. In some situations, the structural engineer might want to view connection information within the 2D planes of that connection. Here, for example, the engineer selects the gusset plate and an isometric view is created as well as the XYZ planar views in 2D. Here, focusing in on the top view of the connection, we can go ahead and pull off the angle of the bracing relative to the other beams as well as show the dimensions of the bolts within the connection. Note at this point we haven't looked at any of the information within the shop drawings, only the model to view this pertinent information. One of the great benefits of using Tecla structures for the model-based review of shop drawings is the ability for the engineer to superimpose their 2D design drawings within the 3D construction model. As we see here, 2D AutoCAD drawings are brought in at the foundation and first floor elevations. All the information from the design drawings are brought in. Note here that we zoom in and we can see the dimensions between the grids are shown within the model. This can be in a very effective way for the engineer to initially just verify that the dimensions close out within the construction model. By bringing in the first floor plans as shown here, the dimensions can be verified, but also the part marks are shown. And we will later see how we can use those part marks in the actual approval process. The structural engineer can also bring in 3D design models from the mechanical, architectural, or even their own structural BIM models. As shown here, the MEP model is brought in so that the engineer can verify that the fabricator's model will actually coordinate with this mechanical model. Note that if the structural engineer brings in their own structural model, they can verify the constructability or fit up of the concrete structure as it interfaces with the structural steel. Or also the architectural envelope or roof 3D models can be brought in for coordination purposes. As the engineer starts their review process, they can use the colors within the Tekel model to keep track of their review process. Initially, everything is turned blue to signify nothing has been reviewed at this point. Next, the engineer can also bring up multiple views at the same time. Having a 2D view shown here of the first floor plan as well as the 3D model on the left will really aid in the review process. 
a review station is brought up to actually start the review. The review tool is called the model review station. When a beam is selected, the assembly of that beam is shown with all the information within the review tool. Note that the profile information within the review tool can correspond with the 2D AutoCAD drawing superimposed on the right hand side of the screen. The connection information can highlight within the model by selecting the various connections within the review station. Note that all the different assemblies that are associated with this piece mark can be highlighted instantly within the model. Here we can see multiple assemblies on different levels showing up. The corresponding shop drawing can be opened up directly as well. Here within a PDF redlining tool called Bluebeam Review, the engineer can pull in stamp information with the approval stamp and save that away within the PDF. And then back within the model review station, the engineer can define the approval status for all these highlighted assemblies. Again, being able to approve all the assemblies in the model at once for a given piece mark makes the model-based shop drawing review process very productive. Doing this in the traditional 2D workflow using paper would require the engineer to go through all the different direction drawings trying to identify where the piece mark was located. We continue on by reviewing the columns shown in the 3D view. Note that the connection code information can correspond to the connection calculations supplied by the connection engineer for the project. This information might already be submitted to the engineer of record for review. So the engineer here can go ahead and compare the connection codes to that that was previously submitted with the connection calculations. When we open up the corresponding PDF drawing, the engineer can go ahead and edit content into the PDF using a range of tools provided by the Bluebeam PDF review software. These tools are customizable and created by the engineer. We will approve this PDF as revised as noted using the stamp, and we will continue approving the model as shown by adding comments within the Tech Review Station. Note that images from the 3D model can be included in the shop drawing review process. This can aid the steel detailer to better understand where the engineer's comments are located within the 3D model. We've approved this assembly as approved as noted and the column and the associated parts show up yellow as shown. We will continue our review by querying this horizontal brace, the WT6, shown on the right hand side of the screen. Note again, we can see the AutoCAD 2D drawings superimposed on top of the Tecla model and being able to see these part marks in the model is a very effective way to review the model. We can continue editing within the 2D PDF by adding comments. In this situation, we're stating that the connection design calculations showed a different type of bolting configuration than what is provided in the shop drawings. So we'll pull over a stamp called Revise Resubmit, which will make the detailer resubmit this assembly to the engineer of record. We will continue by stamping these assemblies in the Tecla model as Revise Resubmit. Note again that several assemblies are being approved at once in the model. And now we can see in the model several pieces that are yellow, green, and red signifying the different approvals. We've continued with the review process by approving all the structural steel assemblies in the model. We can now run a report on all these assemblies to view the approval status within a list but also view various types of design parameters. The report that comes up we can see has a list of different information. When we click on the line item in the report, that specific part in the model highlights. We can see information such as material grade, profile size, elevation, length, and the approval status on the last column in the report. Being able to interactively work back and forth between the report and the model is in a very effective way to prove 
and review the model. This is very similar to how engineers check their own finite element models as they're building them by using these reports or lists of data to check their finite element models. The same thing here. The engineer can go through and quickly look at specific information about many assemblies. In this case, by highlighting the horizontal braces in the model, the engineer can view the top elevation of these horizontal braces as well as the material grades all at once. This is a very powerful feature to be able to see many parameters of different assemblies at the same time. And it allows the engineer to quality check the model for stray material grades or objects that are elevations that they shouldn't be at. So the engineer at this point can send back to the detailer their approved PDF drawings as well as comments to their Tekel model so that the detailer can view those comments within their own Tekel model. An effective way for the structural engineer to communicate the approval status of a given submittal is by publishing a web viewer model. A web viewer model is a free viewer from the Tekla software. So for the owner, architect, or contractor who does not have the Tekla software, the engineer can just email them this web viewer model to view the approval status. We can see the colors have come across for the approval within this model. The various tools such as clipping planes and the ability to zoom, rotate, and pan, just like in the Tekla software, are available. Note that sharing this model for the architect can be valuable for clarifying architecturally exposed structural steel, for example. And the general contractor can see value in getting this model as kind of a heads up of what objects in a given submittal are approved as revised resubmit or approved as noted, because such elements could impact the schedule for a project. The steel detailer, too, could see value in receiving such a model.